seems so. Testing, 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 testing.
tuning in to LRSC TV. I am your host, Evan Samoyloff, and we are here today at Ecole Jean Sauvé to broadcast the Varsity Boys Finals in the St. Patel Classic Volleyball Tournament between the St. Paul's Crusaders and the, the Dakota Collegiate Lancers. This should be a very exciting match as both of these teams are two of the top teams in the province. Just before we get into the game, make sure you follow our social medias. Our Twitter is Louis Riel SDTV and our Instagram at LRSDTV. We will now throw you upstairs to our play-by-play -play and color analyst, Grant McManus and Josh Thornton. Take it away, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. We are just about ready to get underway with the Varsity Boys. The final of the 54 St. Patel. Invitational Volleyball Tournament from College on Sauvé. It is the current number one ranked Dakota Lancers taking on the number two St. Paul's Crusaders here in uh, College on Sauvé gym, so we'll be in for an entertaining match. Uh, this has been the culmination of uh, a lot of volleyball for these guys over the course of the weekend. I'm Grant McManus, joining me with on the uh, color is Josh Thorson. Hey Grant, thanks for having me up. So for those that aren't familiar with the St. Patel Invitational, they started with uh, 16 of the top varsity boys teams on Thursday. They started at 3 o'clock. They played in pool play on Thursday with uh, three best of threes. Yesterday they went into bracket play and played two best of fives. And then they would have played, these two teams would have played the semifinals this morning. And on that note, it was in the boys, which is what we're looking at. The Dakota Lancers defeated Vincent Massey Winnipeg to get here to the finals, and St. Paul's de defeated Steinbach. Our current top 10 rankings, according to MHSAA, as I said, Dakota at number one, St. Paul's at number two, Steinbach Regional number three, Lord Selkirk at four, Vincent Massey Winnipeg at five, Northlands Parkway out of Winkler at six, seven, Westwood, Eight, Vincent Massey Brandon, nine, Port Richmond Collegian, and 10, Portage. So that completes the uh, 4A power rankings for MHSAA. We have the teams on the end line. We have our first official, Mitch Davidson, up on the stand. Our second official, Rob Lee, on the floor, just getting set to hand out the balls to our minor officials. Our starting lineups for St. Paul's is going to be number six, Josh, Josh Karen, number eight. Who do we got there? I think that's uh, Benjamin Marana. Ben, oh, sorry. Ben Tra. Uh, ben Tra. The libero is number 10, Yaroslav Pashi. Looks like we have number 12, Darian Koski. That name will ring a bell in uh, St. Patel. Yep. Scott Koski's son. Around the volleyball world, yep. Yep, number eight, and like I said, Bantera. Number nine, Carter, not Eilofson. We got Setter is number seven, that's Josh Staku. And number nine, who's got, who's got him? And starting for the Dakota Lancers. Number 17, Brandon Zabrinski. Number eight, Sam Meritab. Number 14, Colby Stalker. Number 16, and captain, Isaiah Olfert. Playing libero is number one, that's Ethan Schuster. Number four. And number 10 is Alex Krakowicz. And number four, Justin Stetcher in the middle. Underway, St. Paul serving. Rolls it off the net. Krakowicz goes back to Zabrinski with a big rip. Ball still in play. Ooh. Even St. Paul's knew it was off the floor. Yeah. Player to watch out for on St. Paul's will be Josh Terran. Okay. Zabrinski back to serve. Ball still in play. Nice, nice yep. recovery. Crack was coming back. Oh, great great take by Karen. Zabrinski <clears throat> with the pass. Krakowicz outside to Rob. 
Isaiah Olpert tries to cut it too sharp inside. Ball didn't quite make it outside there. And on the service line is number seven, that's Josh Stacken. Mayritab in the middle with the put back. Knuckleball there by Olford on the outside. Knocks it deep. Been a pretty, pretty good defensive start for this game, too. Yep. And then an extended rally right away on the third serve of the game. Big block up on Isaiah Olford there. Yeah, I think he's looking get, to get going. I think he'll get a lot of attention. Yep. He had a lot of probably pretty high volume today, too. High swing. Yeah, good swing there by Colby Stocker. Who's starting today instead of number 11, Connor Morphy. Back to serve as Sam Mayritab, grade 11 player. That's the one that uh, Olsen was looking at. Yeah, he leaned into that one. <laughs> Good, yeah, good a little bit of pace on there. Balls, though, right? Just couldn't, uh, yeah. couldn't take the heat on that one there. Well done by the libero to get in front of it, though. Absolutely. Good pass. Good swing out of the middle. Stetch was there, just didn't press. Nice kill by Ben Tra. Coming into the game is number four. That's Eric Lowen going out is number three. That's James Dirksen. Koski rotated into the front here. First action of the game. He'll occupy the middle. Nice tee by Krakowicz. Good timing by Stetcher. And here we have Connor Morphy coming in to serve for Colby Stalker. And on the St. Paul side, we've got Dirksen back into the game. Yeah, looks like both teams taking advantage of the 12 sub rule they yeah. use in high school, which is great. It gets a lot more kids involved in the games and, and spread out a few roles throughout your team. Josh Tarrant. We got on top of that one. Yeah, we got a few guys with some big arms on the outside so far with Olfert and uh, Tarrant. Yeah. yeah. Might need the radar gun out today, Josh. Yeah, it would be interesting to it see would for be. sure. Yeah. him a couple times on the outside so yeah. far I think Paul's has got to over. Need to move around a little bit. Ooh, nice pass. Stetcher with the tip deep to six to score. That's going to put Isaiah Olford on the back service line. Down one, five serving six here in the first set. Good pull on that serve. No kidding. First I've seen of them because they were playing in the field house so they didn't have that uh, room out the back of the court, Josh, to be able to oh, uh, right? spin okay. serve, so. Yeah, it had some heat on it. Yeah. Goes down the line to score. I hope people can appreciate the volume these kids are taking uh, jumping over the course of the weekend and then they get to the back service line and it's more jump. So uh, there's three aces for Olford off the spin serve. Yeah. Dakota jumps out to an 8-6 lead. Yeah, and it's just a, it's a heavy season to the high school season, right? Yeah, yeah, very condensed. Coach Hudson before, he said three weekends in a row, a lot of volleyball, great yeah. change of pace from Olford there. Yeah. Brushes three of them and then rolls the next one over. And then he gets the back row set. Yep. Zabrinski made a great play coming in. Stetcher was caught at the net, so Krakowicz goes back 
Rhoda Olfert, four straight points by Josh Olfert, or Isaiah Olfert. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, he changed the complexity there. He had some uh, little bit of troubles in the front row, but I think mm -hmm. he'll get his legs under him here yeah, yeah. after this run on the service line. Yeah. So if this is the first time tuning in to LRSD TV, folks, we'd like to uh, welcome you to the broadcast. If you're not familiar with these broadcasts, this is brought to you by students at the Louis Riel Arts and Tech Center as part of the broadcasting course under the leadership of Ken Plantick. We've been now broadcasting uh, LRSD and some of the provincial championship events now for going on four years. And it's just been, uh, it's interesting to see the turnover every semester. So it's not like it's been like four four yeah. years of kids growing over. It's every semester. You know, Ken and uh, his staff have a brand new crew of kids to get caught up to speed. So. Great reception there from uh, Taryn. And then yeah. he's able to put the ball away in, on his own too. So. Finally broke Isaiah Olford's uh, serving run. Taryn back on the service line. Nice float serve. Stetcher with the score. Setter for Dakota's done a good job of getting the ball in the middle early in the set. And yeah, Alex Trackwich, grade 11 student. He'll be have, uh, you know, holding some middle blockers hopefully later on as the game goes on. There goes Koski in the middle. Good swing. Well, on top of that one nicely. Yeah. Coming out of position two. A yeah, great turn back to five there too. Yeah. So if you're into social media, you can also follow uh, LRSD TV on Twitter at Louis Riel SD TV on Instagram at LRSD TV and on YouTube. So youtube.com forward slash LRSD TV. Lots of ways you can keep up with uh, future broadcasts. Front row sub coming back in for Dakota, 14. That's cool. Stalker. Stalker. Coming back in. Good touch there by Ethan. Yep. Carter, not Eilerson. Earns him a spot at the back service line. Down two, nine, serving 11. Nice flat serve there. Good cover by Zabrinski. Olford, little roll from the back row. Catches Eilison. Yeah, just backing his heels a little bit, expecting a little bit harder driven yeah. stop. And a good change of pace from Olford. Zabrinski on the service line. Good yank there by number seven. Daku got the single scores. And it's Daku back to serve. Good. Mayritab with a miss hit out of the middle, pushes it a little wide. St. Paul's within one, 11 serving 12. Brinsky, there's Stalker, puts it up. Olfer with the card back to one. Three ball. Locker's pretty excited. I'm not sure that one got over the tape though, Josh. No, I don't think so. It's just, he's not getting into it. It's not getting out to him, and he's uh, really yeah, I'd almost put say, it down. Uh, he needs it? a little bit more. Just let him go up and get it, because... Uh, yeah. Right, so. Whoa! There you go. Nice Good hustle. Old, uh, tuck and roll. There's a brick wall there. Yeah. Good hustle. Good number seven there for St. Paul's. Staku. Yeah. Staku. Yeah, Alex Crack, which the setter from uh, Glenlawn, getting some mileage out of already at a number 14, Colby Stalker. He's got three kills out of the right side. Good, Good help swing. Walk. Great block by number eight, Ben Traw, yeah. on Olfer, one-on-one. 
at least the second time he's gotten there in the early part of this match. Thirteen all. We've got Koski back in the front row with Taryn. Nobody holding yeah. the block there. Yeah, they were keying out on Olfer. Yeah. There, great read by the setter. Yeah. Which get the, the ball middle the released middle. early and gave Stetcher the uh, open lane down the middle. So you see the more of that stuff as these teams are pretty familiar with each other. Yeah. I think they've played in three or four finals so far this year yeah. of tournaments, and yeah. you're gonna know each other's tendencies pretty well at this point. Connor Morphy back to serve for Dakota and for Stalker. There's a push well done by, by Tra. He goes back to serve. We've got Eilison, Koski, and Taryn in the front row for St. Paul's. Good high reach there by Olfert. Ooh, good spot down the line there. Good save there by Krakowicz. Eilison, the lefty, still in play. Good, good joust there on both sides. The yeah. Good set from Koski in the middle of that rally, too. Nice shot by Josh Tarrant inside the block on Stetcher. Scores cross court. 15-14 St. Paul. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ethan. Oh. That was Good close. reaction dig by Ethan Schuster there. Just a little unfortunate. It was close. Almost painted the line. Good take there by Schuster. Outside to Olfert. Good communication with the net. Not a great free ball pass. Very nice athletic play by Taryn there. Timing just a little off between uh, Olford and Krakowicz. Yeah. They'll be looking to get reset here. And 17-14 uh, you know, here. Dakota's first time out. Here in the first set of the St. Patel 54th Annual Varsity Boys Volleyball Tournament. You'll notice, folks, if you weren't part of our 3 o'clock broadcast with the Varsity Girls, and again, congratulations to the NBCI Hawks in defeating the College on Sauvet Olympians 3-1 in the Varsity Girls final. You'll see lots of different camera angles for, from our broadcast crew. We've got two floor cameras. We've got uh, two cameras up here on the top, so you'll see replays. And this is their first sports broadcast. So, <laughs> yep. you know, they've uh, been working hard. They've been doing, obviously, other uh, broadcasts in the division, but this is their first live broadcast for uh, sports. So we're hoping that we can keep them active throughout the course of their semester. Boys are back onto the floor. We've got St. Paul's with the serve. They're up 17-14 here in the first set over the Dakota Lancers. Two, two setting options here for Krakowicz or Dakota. See where he goes on a oh, off pass, back row. Murphy into the net. Yeah. As they say, you need a pass to get a swing, so looking to put it in the hands of Krakowicz here. There we get one, it's out to Olfer. Just out. A little better timing on that one. But I like the height of that set there. It went all the way out to, yeah. to him with height, and he had a much better swing on it. Just missed by a couple inches on yeah. the back line. Nice run in the middle. Yeah. Nice quick bang, bang off the pass to, uh, and Stetcher was in the air when Crack was got it in his hands. So. Last time Wolfer was on the line, he had four points. Ooh, St. Paul's got yeah. uh, fortunate there. Good call by their uh, serve receive line. Didn't miss by much though. Puts Josh Tarrant on the line. St. Paul's up 2015. Connor with the. Zabrinski with a nice clean shot. Libero to Libero. Good roll to the pot there. Another roll to the pot. Yeah. And Zabrinski with a couple. Cheeky touch shots to score. 
And we've got Josh Olford, or sorry, Josh Olford, uh, Isaiah going out just to give his legs a rake. Coming into the game is number 12. Jalen Pritchard. There we go. Justin Setcher on the service line, down four. Good hard serve to Karen, well taken though. And Alex Krakowicz, solo block there on number seven, Josh Daku. Yeah, good, good hand work there to turn the ball back into the court. be aggressive on your serve, but it's hard to come back in volleyball if the ball is not in place. Yep. Darian Koski back to serve for St. Paul's, leading 21-17. Pitcher oh. goes a little long yep. there. Nice aggressive, he hasn't been in the game no, very long. No, that's right, and full credit to him getting up and taking a swing at for it. For sure. It's been a while since I saw Scott Koski play, but you can see lots of similarities with uh, his son, Harry and Ace. Good jump float serve there, yeah. Yeah. Hand position. Oh, I thought we had a timeout being called. He's just, oh. Coach Hudson's up uh, just talking to his players. Three person receive here by the Lancers. Go at Zabrinski. Ethan dig. Schuster with a good dig. Good hustle there by Dakota. Scrappy play to say the least, but at the end of the day, they've got a point. They're back in the service line. Yeah. Down three with the setter in the back row. Mayritab, Stalker, and Zabrinski up front. Good rip on the ball there by Allison. Yeah, he's got a good arm, good yep. arm action. And good jump, he's had some great plays at the net so far. Mm -hmm. Set point here with not Allison on the service line. Zabrinski with the pass, he gets the serve back. Looks down line, doesn't hit it. First set, 25-18 St. Paul's Crusaders going up one nothing in the 54th annual St. Patel Varsity Volleyball, Varsity Boys Volleyball Championship. We've got three minutes up on the clock. Teams will reset. We'll be back in a minute here, folks. I am here with the head coach of the Dakota Lancers, Coach Hudson. Coach, what do you think your team did well in the first set? Well, we started off okay. We served great, but then uh, they just started digging us. We had made a lot of attacking errors, and for us to be able to stay with a good team like St. Paul's, we're going to have to keep the ball uh, in play. They blocked very well, and uh, it's going to be a good match, I hope. They're a very good team. What do you think is going to be the biggest uh, improvement you need to make in the second set? Uh, getting a little bit better attacking and not getting blocked quite as many times, not always being a, a floor hitter, so I'm trying to hit the ball off the block a bit better. Thank you for your time. Okay. That was Coach Hudson of the Dakota Collegiate Lancers. We're going to send you back upstairs to our play-by-play and color analyst, Grant McManus and Josh Dornson. Take it away, guys. Thank you. 
All right, folks, here we go. We've got uh, both teams back on the floor. Dakota Lancers now on our right side of the net in front of us. And they will be receiving serve, I think, St. Paul's. No, it's uh, the Alex Crackler serving, I think. I agree. the same and we're underway with Alex serving to Eilison. He gets the return set. <laughs> Tight ball when he wipes it off Stalker at the net to go out of bounds. But he was called on the net. Uh, yep. Yep. Net to a center line violation. Not sure which one. Tight play at the net regardless. Yeah. Just sent a setter or a captain over to get some clarification. Mm -hmm. Sits back down. Nice swing there in the middle by James Dirksen. Puts Idelson back on the service line. Zabrinski tapes that. Goes out to Stalker. Brinsky. They haven't had a chance to make a switch on the front row yet. Call for handling error on St. Paul. So Brennan Zabrinski goes back. Two serving one. Oh. Maritab with the pick. Good pick up by Schuster. Not sure how much action uh, Stalker's seen all weekend, but uh, he's getting quite a bit of volume early in the match so far. Yeah, Big high reach. I think he's about 6'5", so yeah, there's lots of height on that side. So probably trying to get that block up playing against uh, Taron because uh, Connor Morris has been doing a pretty good job, but I just don't think he can handle the pace of uh, yeah. Taron on the block. Yeah, no, he hits the ball. He yeah. big jump. Yeah. <laughs> Strong arm, so. Stockard's been doing well so far. Mm -hmm. Shusha with the take. Mayritab. There's a little tip there. Oh, caught him on the net. Just couldn't turn it back. Oops, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice dig there in the St. Paul side. That was uh, Eric Lowen. Serving sub come in. And, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Helped earn his team a point. Well done. Good aggressive serve there. Good, Good swing by Mayritab, just looking for a little bit of uh, support there by his team. It's nice, uh, nice help by Terran there. Good reach on his block. Mm -hmm. It's a big wingspan, <laughs> wingspan there by Koski. Yeah, he's got some uh, long arms and he's a good jump. Wow. These kids are so athletic, Josh. You don't think they've got to play in the ball in the next one? It's uh, you know, across the court to the pin and the, you know, taking a rip on it, so. Yeah, not, uh, not the start Dakota was looking to after losing the first set. Hey, and you cover. Yeah, you starting the match with you serve, so uh, Coach Hudson talking to Crackridge <clears throat> about set selection. Hey, Sam. Listen. Yeah, we'll see what they do. They out. set the, uh, the ball to left, their set is in the front court. They set the ball to the left side. Said these teams are pretty familiar right? with each other. He so goes under the net. We yeah. get a point. You know they're going to go yeah, middle. Not a whole lot of surprises. And you waited until uh, after the set takes place. You've got it. Uh, that uh, Lloyd and Phil have probably gone head to head over the years. I'd be, a, I'd be an interesting number two. Yeah, again, two <laughs> incredibly experienced coaches and programs with a ton of success. So. Yeah. Well, as I was saying to you at our break, there, uh, Phil's been coaching high school volleyball. The head coach of. Dakota for well since 1980 he's been uh, at Dakota starting in 1987 and Lloyd's been his entire career at uh, St. Paul so I can't oh, it would just be staggering for people to understand you know the amount of time that they have committed sure. to yeah. volleyball uh, the number of matches the miles traveled the 
uh, hours put in. Nice save there. Good connection with Olfer. Nice save by Alex at the net. Very good save. Again, a little bit more height on the outside yeah. set. And Olford was able to see the block and find the floor. Mayrita back to serve. Trying to close the gap down 3 8. Not sure what happened there. Wow, did he flush that one? Yeah, no block. <laughs> Dakota, all the block was peeled off the net. And yeah. Karen got on top of that one, to say the least. I wonder if Isaiah was thinking there was a back row attack there, but uh, Tra's in the front row, so it couldn't have been a back row with the center there. St. Paul's is dominating the net play right now. For sure, yeah. They four or five blocks so yeah. far. Winning some jousts. Nice hustle. Kabrinsky on Dakota almost picked it back up. Yeah. Had to travel a long way to go try to cover that ball. Yeah. There are some big swings happening right now, folks. Josh Tarrin having quite a match. Yeah. And we're early in it yet. Schuster. They need something to get uh, the tide stemmed and uh, something going their way right now. Oh, boy, that was Kosky. a big block by Koski. Right. Oh. Nice carve back to one. Good dig, though. Good eye by Crack, which called that one early. Um, different sub coming in this time for Stalker. Yeah, this is uh, number three coming in to serve. That's Aiden Kamenz. Big swing out of Koski, off hands, out of bounds there. Well, good pick up by Zabinski. Yeah. Out of bounds on the net. Oh. Crackwood got caught running across the court trying to get a block up and just couldn't stop his momentum. Not very positive body language on uh, the Lancer side right now, Josh. They yeah. need uh, a bit of a change. They need something to go their way. But yeah, uh, right now, St. Paul's definitely uh, they're in command. For sure, they gotta just try to find a way to extend the set as long as possible. Yeah. Get some positive plays on their side so they can. Good swing there by Stetcher. Yeah. Good swing there by Allison, but uh, just a little wide, so that puts Isaiah Olfert on the service line. So we'll see if he goes back and uh, takes a rip with the spin serve or, yep, and he does. Takes a little off and makes sure it's in play. Great hustle. Great hustle on the St. Paul side. Track that ball down. Pick up a dump in the middle of a broken yeah. rally. It was a good job by the setter there for St. Paul's. 15-3, Kossi on the service line. 15-5, so right. That's in there. Yeah. All things uh, rolling for St. Paul's and Boy. off the rails on the Dakota side. So. Yeah. Second timeout for Dakota here, 16-5. It's a big hole. You're just looking to 
get, get a few positive plays, change your, you know, change your outlook yeah. on the game a little bit here because it's a big hole right now. And yeah, and it's, you know, it's one of those ones where, you know, it's 16-5, not looking good, but they just need a little bit of momentum shift to at least gain something going into the third set. You know, I'm sure yeah. you're down 2-0, but, you know. Potential to play a lot of volleyball absolutely. still. Absolutely, yeah. So see if they're able to turn it around and yeah. see if St. Paul's is able just to keep their foot on the gas and yeah. continue Assist the role that they've been on. Assistant coach Rob Olfert uh, talking to the Dakota team. Certainly a wealth of experience himself. Yeah, they needed something, somebody just to provide a little bit of spark. Keep the heads up. Koski back on the line, 65 St. Paul's, and they'll be looking to just keep on rolling. The way they yeah, are. so Close that the gives us in the front row for St. Paul's. That's Staku, Eilison, and Dirksen. Stetcher with the block. Come on. Good play by there. Netball. Wow. Nice pickup. Dakota up thought they was... had him there, but uh, we got a net fault on yeah, Dakota. Yeah, it was moving there as he came down. Jump set from the middle player. <laughs> I like it. Snuck it through. Well done. Yeah. Hitting under that block a little bit, got it through the nets and got over the nets. Yeah, kill there for Jalen Pritchard. Justin Stetcher back on the service line, Sam Mayer tab into the front row for the Lancers. Wow. Nice Lots swing of there. pace there by Addison. And he showed, uh, he's got uh, lots of range on him, cross court, pulls it down the line, so. Yeah, he got some great shots and good arm. Mm -hmm. Eighteen six, second set. Little turn and burn there by Tra. Not sure that one ever made right over the top of the tape, but uh, they're going to celebrate St. Paul's side. Nice pass. Good change of pace by yeah. that grab there. Krakowicz back to serve. Stalker into the front row with Pritchard and Mayratab. Carried all call on that one. Not, yep. not called a lot on service Eve, but nope. it did uh, you know, stick in his hand a little bit there. Got to start with one in a row. Got a nice take there and oh. Ethan Schuster strapping it on there, taking the shot from the middle player, Dirksen. Nice swing by Mayritab. Very good. Nice run by uh, Krakowicz there. Yeah. Changing the look. I don't know if that might be the first 31 I've seen from them so mm -hmm. far. So doing some doing something to try to change their fortunes. Nice high reach on the off-speed shot. Very well done. Yeah. He's uh, crushing the ball. Everyone's back on their heels. Drops it out in front of him. Yeah. Yeah, he's showing. Uh, he's got lots of shots in his bag. 
Stalker, nice high reach down the line. Yeah, we're kidding. Great shot there. Yeah. Serving sub coming in for Dakota, number six. Nicholas Chapman. For Krakowicz. Oh, no, coming in for Krakowicz. Sorry, I thought he was going looking at this. Coach Hudson was looking at his server there where he takes the setter out. Mayor Tab. And there's Koski on the 31. That's a tough shot. He had two blockers, and Olfert was all the way over in position yep. two, blocking him on that 31, and he still hits it back to five. Very well done. Great shot. A little confusion on Dakota side. Who's yep. setting, actually setting right now? Yeah, we've got. Uh... The rotation changes here. Schuster takes charge. Olford off hands, deep cross court. Good reach there by Stalker. Good battle at the net. Good shot by Stalker. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Gets game. called on the two hits. Stay in the rally. The good things can happen. Yeah. Dakota extending it there. Commands coming in for Stalker. Going to the service line. Possible set, set point here with Josh Terran going back to the service line. Short serve to Stetcher. Smart play, nice tip. Yeah. That was uh, that was a convincing win, 25-11 by St. Paul. They go up 2-0 here in the 54th annual St. Patel Varsity Boys Volleyball Tournament. A little more uh, one-sided than we thought. Might have been a little bit more back and forth. Yeah. But St. Paul's has been uh, pretty much flawless on their side. They, they have played, uh, absolutely dominant at the net play. And, yeah. yeah. They seem to have had a good game plan coming in and have been executing it super well. And Dakota's going to be looking to uh, probably make a few changes yeah. here. and. Regroup and re-energize to come out strong in the yeah, third. Yeah, hit the hit the reset button at this point, and uh, you know, come out and try and make a play. So we'll turn it down to Alex, our host, who will be interviewing our the assistant coach from St. Paul. Evan Paul's. Alexander from St. Paul's, yeah. I am here with one of the St. Paul's Crusaders coaches, Evan Alexander. Coach Alexander, what, do you, what have you liked to see from your team so far? Uh, I like the energy right now. They're playing, uh, playing as a team. It's nice, it's nice to see. Nice to see the positivity on the court. So, um, What do you think is the biggest difference you saw in the second set than you saw in the first set where it was a pretty uh, tight game for most of it? Uh, you know what? The boys played well. Didn't matter if they lost point or not. They were ready to go for the next one. That's what I like to see. Thank you for your time. Thank you. That was Coach Alexander of the St. Paul's Crusaders. We will throw it back upstairs to our color commentating and play-by-play, -play, Grand McManus and Josh Thornson. Take it away, guys. Yeah, we're good. Oh, all right, folks. Uh, future productions for the games coming up for LRSD TV on uh, number on November eighth. So that's uh, our bowl games for Winnipeg High School Football League. Game one at five o'clock, and game two approximately seven, and then as you can see on the screen, November 9th, five and seven thirty. So again, 
If you want to look at uh, viewing some great high school athletics with some great camera work by our LSD, LRSD TV crew, please tune in to LRSD TV. All right, as we talked at the break, Dakota will be looking to hit the reset button and uh, come back and provide a little bit more challenge here in the third yeah. set, being down 2-0 St. Paul's. To St. Be, Paul's. Be looking for more of the same, I think. Yes. Yeah, they wouldn't be looking to make any adjustments. Ethan Schuster. Yeah, since the first set, Brendan zabrinski has been pretty quiet. And Josh Tarrant just keeps, keeps on rolling. Pummeling on a ball. Yep. Two blockers, uh, carves it inside. Boy, that's a big reach. He's a big kid. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Yeah. Oh, oh that yeah, two hits there. Ben Tra serving at 2 0. Alex is doing a good job of uh, putting up a big block on him. That was, a, that was an impressive, you know, a little missed timing. Basically a standing jump and almost T-line that one off the mark. So. Early time out here from Dakota. Yeah. Coach Hudson looking to make sure his team doesn't uh, slip away again, like, mm -hmm. uh, or his team doesn't slip down again like it did yeah. in the last set there. Well, it was the biggest hole to crawl out of. Yeah. So if I look at the uh, the draw here, Josh, St. Paul's defeated Steinbach. St. Paul's was two coming in. Steinbach was three. So Steinbach's probably going to look at uh, staying at three. Dakota and St. Paul's good. not over yet, but there's a good possible yeah. uh, flip there in our one-two. And then uh, Massey Winnipeg finished in uh, lost in the semis. So they were at five, so they may have a flip with uh, Selkirk. Yeah. Um, they play out third place, I guess, so that might determine. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen those results yet. So, um, you know, not too much movement in the uh, in the boys. Uh, probably more movement because the Sobe girls were at four and NBCI was five. So, so they'll move until there, one yeah. and two for those two teams. You would think, yeah. Which puts them in good shape for uh, you know the final run if they can hang on to that uh, ranking sets them up well for regionals and provincials. Oh, Stacku just uh, reaction got his hands out there, so a little bit of a break for Isaiah Olford and his Lancers. Zabrinski back serving. Mayritab, nice read on Koski there. Great block. Right oh there. my. That was a huge Let's see if we inside. get a replay on this one. Watch how far he reaches inside. Close the door. Great job. Body going one way, arms come back inside the other. Looking for a touch, That's not getting nothing it. Nothing there. Didn't miss by much, though. S Sam Maritab back to serve for the Lancers. Two serving four here in the second, third set. St. Paul's up 2 0. Colby want that one back. He had the right idea going deep corner off of that. Yeah. Now we've got uh, Darian Koski back to serve. Oh, good reception. Yep. Nice in system run there for Olfert. Yeah. Good tempo. A little different, you know. Just inside enough, got a single block, and uh, inside the block, plants it cross court. Really 
Really great swing. Yeah, we've got a net touch. Cross body down the, the line. Now all of a sudden. Safe. Yeah. It's up uh, lots of patience off the block and out the back door on your For side. Sure. <laughs> yeah. St. Paul's up 7 3. Eilison on the service line. Nice, nice turn, turn back by Justin Detcher. And Olford's going to the back line. This is a mm -hmm. chance for him to uh, go on another run like he did in the first set. Get his team back in the set. Good swing on that one. Good pace. Get a free ball coming back. A little miscommunication. Tight ball for Zabriskie. Can't do anything with it. Mm. Just communication error there. Was first ball over wasn't in a real difficult position. Just no. Good spot by St. Paul's, right? Olford taking yeah. the sea ball. It's a little bit of a seam. Put it into position one there. Trying to take him out and it was effective. Nice pass by Connor Moore. Saved by Charles. Out. Got a little English on it, but yeah. not enough to bring it in. Yeah, they're uh, they're hanging in. They're keeping with you know three point game. So Stetcher will be on the service line trying to close it up here. We've got Krakowicz, Sabrinsky, and Mayertab in the front row. Boy, he's got a lot of single blocks on him. Yeah, he's <laughs> has a great job of isolating yeah. his outsides and, well, he's and taking full advantage and he's, of him. And he's quick and explosive, so kind of you don't see him coming and then he's already putting the ball past you. Yeah, yeah very, that's a pretty fast offense from yeah. St. Paul's. Very explosive player. Nice pass by Olford there. They're just uh, on the wrong side of the inch right now. They painted a couple lines, just not getting the break. Eric Lowen in to serve again. Good read there by Connor. Great read defensively. Yeah. Yeah. Another great block at the net for St. Paul's. That was on the floor before you knew it. Yeah, excellent handwork from all the blockers, getting the ball directed back in court. This has been a bit of a clinic here in uh, blocking, Josh. Yeah, seen some great blocking in this match. We had some great blocking in the first match, yep. actually, in the mm -hmm. RC Girls Final. It's normally a pretty late developing skill, but these kids have got a hold yeah. of it pretty well. Good joust there. Yeah. Koski yes. held his own at the net, and yeah. Krakowicz followed through. Point St. Paul's, 13-5. Things going right to Cody's nope. way. And no, it's uh, pretty Paul's quiet on the other side of the net right now. Yeah. Fifteen five, St. Paul's. That's on the service line. That's number four, Eric Lowen. Good turn in by. Run in the middle for a couple nice digs Dakota. in the back row there by Connor Murphy. Had a Murphy. great sequence in the yeah. back row there, actually. It was great. Yeah, really good. Colby Stalker coming into the front row. Great shifts and low and going out. Nice to see Dakota get the ball in the middle on a transition ball. And yeah.
Good effort there by the libero, number 10. That is... Yaroslav Patches. Yep. So, good effort, just a long way to go there. So Paul's in a pretty comfortable position, and they just have to side out. Yeah. Don't have to worry about earning a lot on their serves. Nope. Just Tight ball there. Little turn and burn. Side out the rest of the way, they're in good shape. Yeah. Ben Traw back to serve. Stalker with the kill. Well, oh. yeah. Good effort there, ran out of real estate. Yeah. Tough adjustment for Darian, yeah. Yeah, it's a tough ball. Yeah. Coach Lodvoth <laughs> is telling him to uh, adjust his position on service eve and does so accordingly. That was a really nice set from Ben Tra coming in there. Yeah. Nice speed in the back set. And once again, we're saying his name all the time. Josh yeah. Taren just putting the ball away for St. Paul's. Stalker with the flush. Not a lot of room to go anywhere there. His hands nope. were well over the net. Yeah. I think oh. I might make a prediction on one of the All Stars here, Josh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can make a couple of them right yeah, now. I think so. Yeah. Probably wouldn't uh, be pretty safe bets. Aiden commands in for the serve. Goes back to Eilison. Uh, off the antenna. Ball. Not a lot of options there. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Staying around this six point mark for Dakota's uh, deficit. And, yeah. and St. Paul's is in good shape just to side out. And, yeah. Ah, rotation. Libero and uh, Taryn were in the wrong spots there. Ooh. It's enough of a confusion yeah. to Coach Voss play. takes a timeout. He doesn't Up want to see five. anything uh, change here. He wants to just keep this uh, yeah. comfortable lead and make sure his guys are focused on siding out. And yeah, at this and point, just looking to, you know, even if you just trade punches, the match will be over. So Yeah. So as you saw, folks, uh, earlier on the screen, the uh, bowl games for high school football that LRSD TV will be broadcasting. If you check into youtube.com forward slash LRSD TV, you'll be able to stay abreast of all the broadcasts that uh, this crew is doing. And again, these are high school students. This is part of their educational programming at the Blue Real School Division Arts and Tech. And they do a, a fabulous job learning all of the intricacies of all elements of broadcasting. Great dig by Krakowicz off of Eilison there. And big high quick release by Darian Kosky. Yeah. Got off the net, passed the ball, and got himself right in the air. And yeah. Good target for his setter. Great dig on Dakota's side, though. Mm -hmm. Keep the rally going, but St. Paul's offense is proving Still to be too much today. Point, but it just keeps advancing a point at a time, so they're going to run out of room here. Yeah, they just haven't had too many clean swings by Isaiah Olpert. Oh, and then a net foul yeah. too. A little off balance coming down from the block. I'm not sure they'd agree, but I guess it's a bit of a character builder and uh, you know, chance to evaluate what do we need to do to uh, you know pick ourselves up and get going with the uh, SCAC rest of our regular season and going into the playoffs here. Nice push out there by. You know, oh yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, end of the net. So didn't make it over. We've got Connor Morphy coming in to serve. Grade 11 students. Heading out is Colby Stalker. Connor had a good rotation in the back row the last time he was in. Oh. 
Good eye there on the cross court. Eilis has hit that spot a few times, it's yeah. uh, a little sharp. Lots of pace. Nope, hey. two in a row, so. And we've got a sub coming in. Number five, Justin Cross. And number seven going out. That's Daku. Josh Daku. So we'll see if uh, Connor can pick up the new player's uh, service target. Again. That's uh, a few errors creeping into St. Paul's game yeah. we haven't seen yet today. Yeah. So those are the down to three. It's changing here. You know, and he's, uh, it's not that he's been bad passes. Uh, Josh Terran's been passing threes off of all of these. So there he goes to the new player there. He's going to get a chance to swing at it. Over the block. So that's a tough little bit, Yeah, a little bit of life back in uh, Dakota. Yeah. It's a tough spot for Cross to come in. Probably hasn't jumped in an hour. Well, and, yeah. And, uh, Especially going to pass the ball and then trying to get back yeah. outside. So, But, uh, yeah, a few errors creeping into St. Paul's game, and Dakota's just playing a little, taking care of their side a little bit more, a little bit cleaner on their yep. side, and managed to close the gap and make this third set a little more interesting. See what Probably does do help here. that uh, Terrence in the back row right now. He's passing threes. He's doing what he can from the back yeah, row. He's I just got, uh, we've had, what, three, in, well, one out the back, and then the other three were into the net. Yeah. So. so I think we'll see... Uh, some drawing up here. We'll yeah. be surprised to see a bike back row attempt try and get him involved in the offense. Yeah. Stop this run Dakota's been on. Well, this will be challenged. The only uh, young varsity player, Connor Morphy. You know, he's been doing a great job from the service line. Now he just needs to come back. He can't take a whole lot off because otherwise yeah. you're just going to be eating it on the yeah. comeback. So he needs to stay aggressive on his serve here. And he does. He goes with the uh, new player. Stetcher with a nice block. And again, out to Eilison. Dakota closes it to well, back. Well, that's all you need. That's all you can ask for, right? Put a little pressure on the other team, see what happens. Oops. Yeah. We're tied. 19, folks. Statue coming back in here. Yeah. So. We'll see what Connor's target is here. Does he go back to stack? He was just coming in off the bench and trying to hold him from releasing outside. There he goes. And Stetcher, big block. Eilison, turn and burn. Wow. Oh. So, this is, uh, you know. Yeah. High school sport there. <laughs> that's what it is. That's, that's, as they say, this is why you play the game. Yeah. Justin Stetcher with the big solo block out of the middle. No, it came down between oh. him and the net, and now... I thought that... Oh, okay. Yeah. It just came down so fast, yeah. it looked like it was on uh, St. Paul's side. Great serve. Good tough to get his hands on it. Oh! That, that was a big block. Very well done. Yeah. A little bit of life left in the Lancer yet. Tight ball to net. Unlucky. A little missed time, yeah. A little unlucky there. Tied at 21. Stacku back on the service line. Oh, it puts Terran back in the front row for St. Paul. Yeah. So they'll be looking to go to him here, I'm sure. Every chance they get. Good attack there. Yeah. yeah. 
Wow. Good rotation here for Justice Stetcher in the front row for the Lancers. Yeah, very good job. A couple blocks. Yeah. Greased a kill there through the middle block his hands. Now this will be a test for uh, young Sam Mayritab here in the middle at the, this point in juncture in the game. That's a serve you sailed long, but to you. Yeah. After 20, got to be pretty clean on that skill to give yourself a chance. Yeah, so we've got Lowen back into the game. Eric Lowen on the service line. We've got Zabrinsky, Mayritab, and uh, Krakowicz up front. Nice back dump by Krakowicz. Gets him fired up a little bit. Yeah, heads up play. We're tied at 23. Gives Krakowicz, Stalker, Zabrinsky, and Mayritab up front. I would think he would have to be keying on this young fella right now. Good roll shot. Tough ball for Stalker, but uh, well done. Oh. Well done. Oh. What a great net play from St. Paul's there. Big block from Koski there. Koski there. Reach back inside. I think this was the uh, the brand of volleyball. Those last uh, you know six points that we've been waiting for yeah, all day. It's maybe it just uh, a little bit it, more. of The game would be like this, eh? Yeah, as they say, probably just uh, too much line let out to reel them back in at this point. But you know, you get uh, defend one here. Eh? Yep. So you're gonna, so gonna be siding out one. Yeah, clean pass and uh, attack to get the serve. Again, it's uh, Zabrinsky, Mayritab, and Stalker up front, I think, for Dakota. Yeah, Krakowicz just, just serves, so he's got uh, three hitters up front. Be Olford, Schuster, passing. On the service line for St. Paul, looks like it's the setter, Ben Traw, going back. He's had a decent day from the service line, too. So. Nice high reach. Come on. Come on, boys. Oh. That's, a, that's a tough one. Yes. They uh, clawed their way back in with... Uh, have one of those. So congratulations to the St. Paul's Crusaders. Great match. Uh, yeah, three Minus, zero. Uh, eight points in that third set where the Dakota made the run. They were yeah. complete control and very dominant. So very good. Yeah. So again, congratulations to St. Paul's Crusaders on a three zero win over the Dakota Lancers in the fifty fourth annual St. Patel Varsity Boys Volleyball Invitational Tournament. And congratulations to the students of the LRSD broadcasting crew. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Josh, thanks for your help on yeah, the color today. Thanks for having and me again. It was fun. We look forward to uh, bringing more broadcast to you folks. So with that, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll turn our mics down, and we'll see you later. Good night, folks.
St. Paul Crusaders, number six, Josh Taren. Josh, how do you think you, how do you feel about your team's play tonight? Well, we really play as a team today, and we've we've had some trouble sticking together as a team, but uh, cool. <laughs> Big man! we definitely brought it together to uh, bring it out to Dakota. Do you believe that this? Do you believe that winning this tournament is a big accomplishment, not only for you but for your team as well? Oh, 100 percent. This is going to go towards uh, provincial rankings, which is going to be huge for us. Awesome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. That was Josh Heron, the MVP of tonight's uh, Varsity Finals game. From everybody here at ATC, we'd like to thank you all for coming. We'll throw you back upstairs for one last time to our play-by-play -play and color commentary. Josh McManus, or uh, Grand, Grand McManus, and Josh Thornson. Take it away, guys.